Hello Stampers, Jackie Ballhuis from Clomp and Stampers. I have three fun cards to share with you today and they're all using the Dress to Impress stamp set. And we're only gonna use two ink pads. And what I wanna show you is how to get the most out of your ink pads by getting different shades out of just one color. And I'm gonna show you different ways to do stamping with the stamp set because it has these images that I just like to call blobs. And I had a few people ask me about them and they were like a little intimidated, like what do we do with those blobs? Well, I'm gonna show you how to make some super cute cards with this with just one color plus black and using these blobs. So let's go ahead, flip the camera down. I'm gonna show you the setup close and we're gonna get stamping. Now the other day I used the designer series paper that is part of the suite. And I always like to really teach you guys that you know, Stampin' Up! puts together these suites of coordinating products, but it doesn't mean we have to use just the suite and use them all together. So we made cards with just the paper, and now today we're going to use just the stamps. Now you can get the bundle with the die or the um the dies as well, but the little bit of stamping I'm doing today, if you don't have the dies and you want to do just the stamp set, you can make some super cute things with it with maybe just a little bit of fussy cutting. These dies do include this adorable purse um, that I haven't made one yet. I know eventually I will, but that's all part of the die collection for this. But today we're gonna concentrate on just some easy cards using the stamp set. So this is in the mini catalog. So if you don't have this one, I know I say this all the time, but hop on over to the, my website. There'll be the link down in the video description. And if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd love to send you one of those catalogs. So now what we're gonna do is make three different cards. Let's see, we need the scrap piece of white here. Oops, I forgot it. Let me grab it. I'm gonna start out by just showing you how to stamp some of these images with the blobs. So let's go ahead and start with the perfume bottle. So we're gonna ink it up first, just in Memento Black. And then while we got the black out here, let's do our shoes. So for the card, I'm gonna show you with the shoes. We have two shoes on it, so we might as well do two. And then let's go ahead and do the lipstick as well. So we have all of those stamped. And then next I'm gonna grab my Melon Mambo. Now I really probably should have lovely lipstick because of the lipstick, but we're gonna do Melon Mambo. That's my favorite pink. Now for the perfume, because I wanted to kind of color this in a little bit with the blob and I played around with different things to do. And what I came up with, what I like the best is I inked it up good in that Melon Mambo and I started at the bottom and I stamped it and I just kept moving it up and stamping it as far up as I could go. And see how you get just kind of the varying color? And you'll see how cute that looks on the finished card that I have here for you in a little bit. So I just inked it up, stamped it once, and stamp, 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 stamp. That's all I did on that one. Now for the shoes, I used the same blob. This is kind of the long, narrow blob. And I thought it was a little, I'll show you. I thought it was a little bit too dark for my card. So what I did is I stamped on scrap paper first and then I stamped right on top of that shoe. And then when we cut this out, it's gonna look super cute, which again, you'll see that in a second. Like I said, I have three cards, but we're gonna kind of do the pieces of them and then I'll show you the final card. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean off with the chamois here, that um, Melon Mambo, because we are going to use Smoky Slate, which let me grab. Thought smoky slate worked really good on our lipstick. And again, I always kind of test it first. Like, do I want it dark or do I want it light? And I think light's gonna look a little bit better for this, so it's not so overpowering. So scrap paper first, and then onto our lipstick. And then we're gonna use the um there's two small ones here. This is kind of the the bigger one, I guess, of the two small ones. And we're gonna just take that and we are gonna fill in. The top of our lipstick like so and again when this gets die cut it's going to be really cute now you could do this one even without die cutting because this is just kind of that watercolor a little bit of funky style so let's set this aside and i want to show you some backgrounds and then we'll put the cards together because again we are just using stamps that are in this stamp set and different ways to use them with just this one pad so one way is to make just a a random background and there's two different flower images and so when I do random my little trick for random is notice my left hand is flipping the paper that way 
all of these flowers end up going in different directions without having to do the pretzel thing. And I'm gonna use both of them. So I just kind of, you know, randomly stamp those and then we're gonna come in and we'll fill in with the other one. So they look a little bit different. And again, see how we're turning our paper, get this all colored in like so. Now let's go back to our blobs, the two small ones. And what I did is I just took the bigger, bigger of the smalls, and we're gonna ink it up, scrap paper, and then in the center of this flower. And again, I'm turning it. This really doesn't have to fit in there exactly, but by turning it, it just really makes everything look different. Because otherwise, if you're stamping it the exact same way all the time, it looks like it's stamped just in a row. But by turning it, it really, it'll give you, you'll like your results a lot better. So there, filled those in, and then we'll take the smaller one and do the same thing. Scrap paper, kind of getting that rhythm, and sometimes you forget the scrap paper to get the lighter color. And there we go. So there is one way to make a background with these stamps. And again, you gotta hang on so that you see how the finished cards look. Now another way, now these pieces are three and a quarter by four and a half, and I use the same ones on all three cards. I will have pictures of the cards that I'll show you here in a second, along with all the card recipes and measurements and products I use over on my website. So if you'd like those, go down to the video description and I'll have a link there to the blog so that you'll have all the information on these cards. Now, another way that I use these stamps for a background is I use the, I just used one on this. You could, no, actually I think I used both of them, but I kind of did this a little bit opposite. I stamped this on scrap paper. Okay, and we're gonna stamp some of these. And again, for this card, I don't think I stamped nearly as many, um, just to make sure that I got a different look. And then we can even take the other one. And each time though, we're going on scrap paper so that it's lighter. That might be more than what I did on my card, but that's okay. Then there's also the little dot stamp. And what I did with this one is I just kind of filled in with some dots. And again, we wanna turn that cardstock. Otherwise we're gonna have, you know, dots that look like they're in a perfect pattern and we don't want that. So there's one more background. And then the other one we can kind of do the opposite is I had these going nice and dark and I didn't do very many on this one. And then I took the dots and I went light. So now we again have a completely different look. So we've done all the stamping. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cards. Now these cards were super simple. I just showed you all the stamping I did, but here's the one where I did the dark flowers and the light dots. There's a perfume bottle. I just punched it out with a two and a half inch circle punch, or you could use a circle die, popped it up with some dimensionals. We layered with some black and then there's smoky slate and then a little bow on there to make it girly. So there's the first card. And then next, we stamp the shoes. So here's our background with the light flowers, dark dots. And you can see when you cut out the shoes, you don't see where the, the little blob comes that far off. And like I said, it does come with dies. So if you get the bundle, you'll have the dies to cut these out. Otherwise, they really aren't too bad to fussy cut these. Put them on a circle with our cute little greeting, added a bow, and there's that one. And then lipstick, I thought we better be bolder. And I love how all these sayings coordinate. Be as bold as your lipstick. Life is short, buy the shoes. So with this one, we've got the much bolder looking background and I put it on the Melon Mambo cardstock. So you can see when you look at all of these together, that white layer is exactly the same. The background was stamped just a little bit differently. So you could mix and match these however you wanted. They're all backed with the black. But then look at how this is just as bold as your lipstick when we put the Melon Mambo there. You know, this kind of softens it with the white and then the smoky slate as well. So I hope you like those cards and kind of the fun tips I had to, to share with you with stamping with blobs for not a better word to, to call it. And um, this suit, the or this suit, this stamp set is super cute. Um, you know, I am not a lipstick person. I am definitely not a shoe person and I don't wear perfume. So none of these are me, but you know what? I have a lot of people that will, these cards will put a smile on their faces, especially my daughters. So fun stamp set for anybody that sends cards to people that 
that like this kind of stuff. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my video today and all of the stamping tips with the stamp set. And again, hop on over to my website. And if you'd like to place a Stampin' Up! order for this fun Dress to Impress stamp set or anything else, you can do so right on my website. I totally appreciate it when you select me to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. That's what helps me be able to bring videos to you three times a week and teach you lots of fun and easy tips for making quick and easy cards. So until I stamp with you again, have a stamp happy day.